is full of experts in different industries, so including tax accounting, financial planning, dentistry, etc. And these businesses are they're incredibly vulnerable to cyber attacks. And the owners of these businesses don't even understand cyber threats or how to protect themselves better from it, which then can put you at risk having your data compromised. This is where SBDC and uh, their partners come in. Rodney Gallet, owner of Firma IT Solutions, he's a certified ethical <laughs> hacker. And Aikta, we'll, we'll talk about that mask in a second. Yeah. Mark Coulier from <laughs> SBDC. They'll be hosting, uh, they'll be facilitating a series of cybersecurity awareness classes in the upcoming weeks. So I guess, I mean, mm -hmm. we should start with the elephant in the room. I think we should. Rodney, why yeah. are you wearing that mask? <laughs> so, you know, when I do my cybersecurity classes, I wear this mask. It kind of makes it a little more real for the students mm -hmm. to okay. understand that these are real actors out here that are coming after their businesses and they're not too small. So it gets their attention. Okay, so I mean that's a great question. So no matter, people probably think, oh, I just have a small business. No one's going to care about me, right? I don't have to worry. Is it? There's no business too small. That's correct. Yeah. There's no business too small, and small businesses are the ones that get hacked the most because they're easiest to hack. Mm -hmm. Because there's so many simple things businesses can do to protect themselves. But if they don't, it's easy to uh, get into their data. Yeah, hackers right. know this. And, and hackers mm -hmm. know. Okay, so what cybersecurity services does SBDC have? Like, What can they provide for the business owners out there? Very good. So we've taken it upon ourselves to have a number of classes to help small businesses understand the areas of need that they have, whether it's physical threats or internal threats. And what we do is we provide a lot of workshops, such as with Rodney uh, this co in the next week that he'll talk about here shortly, and uh, virtual trainings, webinars, and then we're on the road throughout Colorado. So why is it important then to have these classes to offer? Well, you know, the education is important in the small business community. The more they know, the more they can be vigilant as far as protecting uh, not only their business from cyber attack, but the people that are really at risk is our community. Mm -hmm. Because all of our records are in your dentist office's computers, yes. in your accountant's computers. So when their passwords for all their machines are the same and it's Bronco 7 <laughs> or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or no password at all, and nobody's using encryption and they're putting all of our information in the Google Drive for free mm -hmm. and it's being sold in real time, you know, we need them to understand why these are bad ideas. So then my question is, who should be attending these classes? Every small business that has data from their cu customers that they're collecting, either through credit card transactions or databases, newsletters, any data that any small business that has customer data or confidential business data that they need to protect should be in these classes. Okay, so <clears throat> a question that's probably coming up in people's minds, like, hey, maybe I should attend, but how much does it cost? Mm -hmm. Well, our Resources at the SBDC are free when it comes to the consulting, so you can actually meet with Rodney for free as many times as you would like with your cybersecurity needs, and our workshops are $20 or less. So very affordable. Very Absolutely. Affordable. Yep. Uh, so when and where are these classes? Because you said it's all throughout Colorado. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we yep. have one tomorrow from 9 a.m. to noon at the Catalyst Campus, um, the Cybersecurity Simplified, what your small business needs to know, on the 30th. It's the 30th, yep. right? No, 31st. 31st. Yeah. And then on August 7th, August 7th we have your second at the class. National Cybersecurity yep. Center from 5 to 8. It'll be a happy hour training, so that'll be pretty fun. And on the 1st, uh, the Better Business Bureau of Southern Colorado and uh, SBDC of Southern yep. Colorado will be having a class at the Rawlings Library at 9 30 to In Pueblo. In Pueblo. So yep. we're saying any small business owner mm -hmm. can do this. What about the little boy who mows your lawn that uh, goes through Square? Would that be someone that would need to protect their business? Or are we talking about, you know, real brick and mortar businesses Ooh, here? Square. Yeah. Mm. Oh, so, <laughs> he yeah. doesn't like that. Yeah, so they have a, um, a user agreement. Uh, that's one of the things we're gonna be teaching in the class. Read the user agreements, because the thing about Square, unfortunately, is that um, if they get breached, they're not liable. Well, and Square and PayPal are constantly updating their user agreements, so mm -hmm. they're going through an update night right now, from what I understand. Mm -hmm. But it's really important for that little boy who's running his first business, small business ownership is so important at the youngest of levels. It's important that they're securing their, their business at a very early, early age. Yes. And we can help them. Mm -hmm. So it's not just for the guy with the brick and mortar. Mm -hmm. It's for any small business working out of their home and any age. Mm -hmm. And we teach it to them in a way that they can understand. Well, I want to thank you both so much yeah. for your time this morning. Thank it's you. been wonderful. Thank you. Have Where can we find out more information on these classes? PikesPeakSBDC.org backslash cyber. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like to find out more information about Firma IT Solutions, go online to FirmaITSS.com.